pay for even one of your sins, you'll spend eternity in hell. If Christ pays for your sins, then you can be forgiven because He paid the penalty and we are set free to be able to enter in. And, and obviously we need to know Christ. We need to receive Him by faith. And so the Bible makes it clear that Jesus didn't die for angels. Lucifer was at one point uh, right before God, but because of his sin he rebelled and he is a fallen angel. You and I, we were born in sin. Our beginning was, we were tainted and that's why it, we have to be transferred from that sinful state to a place of purity which only comes through Jesus Christ, His shed blood and receiving Him as our Savior. And so when you look at a, an apple tree, how do you know a good apple tree from a bad apple tree? The, the apples is a good fruit, right? I think that's what you're getting at. Now, the color of the apple is the color of the tree. Okay. Now, did that good apple, did it make the tree good? Trees are always good. Are they? Yeah. Look at air. Well, that's the one good thing they do is give us they, oxygen. They do provide, all right. But if it's a dead tree, then it's not working properly, right? A good apple doesn't make the tree good, right? A good apple just shows that it's a good, healthy tree. The, the, the tree produces the fruit, right? Yep. And so when somebody becomes a believer in Christ, they don't get to heaven because they went out and did all these good things. But when they have a changed heart, there will be good fruit that comes from their life. It's an evidence that God has saved them, yeah. made them right, and it's a gift. You can't earn it. Can you pay money to get in heaven? Can you give the... No one no. can't do that. That'd be a bribe. It'd be a sin. <laughs> That's right, you can't, and you can't be good enough, you can't work hard enough to get into heaven because we're already guilty, right? Yep. And so that makes it very clear that Christ is the only way to have eternal life. And so that's something that I don't know if you've thought about, but um, very important things. Did you grow up in a, in a Christian home or background or? No, my father. My father is Christian, but he doesn't like the thing to go to church every Sunday or okay. have any Christian things all over the house. He doesn't... You're saying he doesn't do that? No, he doesn't no. do that. No, okay. So you've been exposed to... Some At one point, I did want to go to like, like a Catholic school, go to church every Sunday. That was one point. Okay. But until now, seeing the world like this, there's war going on. Yeah. Our own allies are killing our own troops. There's so much sin around the world. Yeah, you can't stop it anyways. So, what are you going to do about it? Politics are not going to do nothing about it. So, well, this, this world's going to go to hell anyways. Well, there is going to be a time of destruction, and but, but we need to be saved from this world. And see, Christ came to change people's hearts, right? If yep. people loved one another, and, and looked out for one another the way God wanted them to, mm -hmm. would we have these wars and, and problems and people killing and, and stealing? No. God's given us His law, but the thing is people rebel against that and, and they want to go their own way. So the only, I mean, you mentioned sin. We know what's right and wrong because there is a standard. God, His perfect righteous law is that standard yep. and we, we don't live up to that and so that's why we need Christ mm -hmm. and that's the gospel means good news that's that's the good news in this world that's falling apart yeah. right and so God wants to change the hearts of people right if somebody's heart is changed then that will change their life right yeah. and so I mean you you can't legislate morality you can't legislate people you know like going into a country and say, we're going to make you a democracy. I mean, look at the, the problems that are going on. You, you can't legislate those things. But the only way that people change is if their heart is changed. And so that's what God came to do is change people from that unclean heart to give them a new heart. Mm -hmm. All right. So do you have any questions or? Not really. Not really? Okay. Well, thanks for your time. Okay. Say hey. Hi, how you doing? Right in the camera. Hi, hi, mom. Check it out. Thanks a lot, guys.